The fourth season of Stranger Things has finally released, and aside from being completely terrifying to watch, it is taking the world by storm. Magic players far and wide are enjoying watching the show, and now they're all building their Stranger Things Commander decks. This new excitement has everyone moving in at the same time, buying up all these cards, causing a major shortage, and driving this price to the moon. Some of these bad boys have sold for over $85. Originally, these were for sale last October for $40, and anybody who wanted them could buy them. But this sale has come and gone, it's in the past, they've already been printed, and shipped out and now people have already doubled their money. Doubling your money in less than a year is nothing to scoff at. But for those who bought the big bundle, you got a nice discount and you actually brought your cost basis all the way down to about $33 for this product. Now you've multiplied your money by two and a half times. It's only a matter of time until these reach 100 and now you've tripled your money. If you're one of the people who have doubled or almost tripled your money over the last eight months, that's awesome. Good for you. You took some risk, you took action, and it's paying out for you. Now if you're not one of these people, Fear not, we're going to learn from this experience, that way we don't miss out on the next great opportunity that comes to us. Magic the Gathering has made a major shift in recent years and they've started to create products that cross over into other intellectual properties. These IP crossover products have proven to be really strong investments with great potential returns and you can capture these returns on future IP crossover products. The Walking Dead Secret Lair came out in October 2020 for $50 and now is $90. The Stranger Things Secret Lairs we've talked about well, came out in October 2021 for $40 or $33 with a discount, now is $85. The Arcane Secret Lair, the League of Legends TV show, came out in November 2021 for $30 or $24 with a big bundle discount, and now that thing is ranging from $50 to $50 to $5, and they just barely hit the market over the last few weeks. The Street Fighter Secret Lair came out in February 2022 and for $40 or $31 with a discount, and it's too early to tell because nobody has these yet, but surely these things are going to be worth a pretty penny in a few months, not to mention a few years. One of the most important takeaways from this experience is to not underestimate what can happen when something gets pushed into the modern trending environment. When Stranger Things Season 4 comes out and it's absolutely everywhere and people are making jokes about it and commenting about it and it's in the forefront of everyone's mind, suddenly everyone wants these cards all at once. What's going to happen when Arcane Season 2 comes out, or Street Fighter ever makes a good movie that's actually worth watching, much like Mortal Kombat did recently? Who else liked the new Mortal Kombat movie? I thought that thing was awesome. I am Sub-Zero. These events could cause major price spikes in these products, just like Season 4 did for the Stranger Things cards. If you missed out on getting in at the ground floor of these products and getting the best prices available, you have two choices. You can sink into a dark hole of depression and wallow in self-pity, or you can recognize that there will be future opportunities and you can have the positive outlook and say, hey, I'm going to capture these next time they make an IP crossover product. We already know about some to come. Later this summer, we know we got the Warhammer 40,000 products with some commander decks and we got some secret lair drops, and next year we have a full set being released with Lord of the Rings and that set's going to be modern legal. You're going to tell me that in five years from now people are not going to want to buy those Lord of the Rings cards? As an extreme Lord of the Rings fan, it's very easy to recognize how beloved these products and cards are going to be in years to come. There will likely be even more IP crossover products in the future that haven't even been announced yet. So will you miss the boat again or will you take some courage, jump on board, take a little bit of action, take a little bit of risk and see if it pays off? For those of you who have seen Season 4 of Stranger Things, you'll know that they take a fun, exciting trip to Salt Lake City, my hometown. But I am actually moving across the country, which is why I've been slow to get videos out. Thank you for your patience. And to make sure you catch my next videos, join the Wolfpack right now by hitting subscribe.